So it is Thursday night right now. It's about nine o'clock p.m. And let's just start from the very beginning. So, fucking Sammy. Um, the interesting thing today was that I learned that Eminem's new album was leaked online. So I ended up downloading it at work and then I spent my entire morning, pretty much almost my entire day at work listening to it over and over just to develop my own opinion of it. And mainly because when I first Googled about this leak, I got so many responses how it was like, oh, fans already got a hold of his album and the reviews are negative. And I just kept reading so many comments like that and it was really making me a little worried at first. But then after I started listening to it and just really taking the time to listen and read his lyrics, I honestly felt kind of sad that people would just say something so negative about his work, especially because you know, you can't expect music to appeal to everybody the same way. So I just didn't like reading how people said this was the worst album ever, it was garbage. They would just keep saying all this negative stuff, but I don't know. I, I He even wrote specific songs saying how like there was so much negative reception about his later work and he is hoping that this album appeals to his fans as well as believing in himself. So I honestly would recommend the album. I think it's great. Um, it even made me go back and listen to his older stuff, like old, old stuff, because... So I would say that I discovered Eminem really late and I am always kind of not dis I, I guess I'm a little disappointed that I discovered him late because this is so many years after he first came out and was huge. But this was definitely the year where I spent a lot of time listening to all of his albums. And Spotify has this really neat website that they set up that, that goes over your listening habits and just everything about 2017. They kind of bundled it together to let you know, you know, what artists you listen to the most or what songs you listen to the most this year. And I will put up what I got as a result. I am honestly surprised that Machine Gun Kelly ranked higher than Eminem because I do feel like I listened to a lot of Eminem this year and maybe um, with his album coming out tomorrow for streaming, it's possible that he could surpass Machine Gun Kelly because lately I don't think I've been listening to him as much even though I love him in songs where he's featured such as Black Bear's new album. So this year was definitely an interesting year for me musically because I never saw myself as a rap hip hop person, but I have spent so much of this year discovering that genre and every single Friday it started becoming like, ooh, which new rap or hip hop song came out? And then I would spend my time listening to the album or just listening to the song and being excited about it. Um, g Easy's album is also coming out soon, so I, I do like several of his singles that have come out so far. Um, but yeah, I guess some of the songs that kind of hit me the most from his album was Bad Husband. That song, he apologizes to Kim and is just very honest in his flaws during their marriage and stuff like that. Um, Castle and A Rose believe um, tragic ending uh this i forget what the song title was but the one with kehlani she has a beautiful voice and just sounds so nice but i would definitely say i like more than half the album which i would consider pretty good so i will probably spend more of my evening listening to it where i'm in a more calm and enjoyable environment than at work <laughs> Yeah, there's actually a song that he re-released last year 
remastered basically and it was off his very first album and I never knew that. It's called Infinite and I actually freaking love that song and I didn't know that it was on one of his first albums which is considered a huge flop. I also went back and listened to some of his songs like When I'm Gone. That song is really beautiful and really I actually appreciate his lyrics quite a bit and normally I have to say when I listen to music I am very I wouldn't say shallow but I definitely focus on the way it sounds and the beat lyrics I don't usually go look them up until I feel like I really like the song so another one of his songs that I love is space bound and I definitely went to look at those lyrics just to kind of understand better what he was trying to say through it so I just kind of felt like talking about it because I felt really emotionally moved or touched today because of his album and also going back and listening to his older songs just made me very emotional um, he has he really is an incredible artist and it just sucks that people call him stuff like washed up or he's past his prime and just stuff like that without fully recognizing what he has managed to accomplish. So for those people who do end up listening to the album, hopefully you really like it like I did and if you don't, you know, there's no need to write anything negative about it. On the internet or anything like that if you don't like it it's just not for you and there's no need to voice that in a way that can be insulting after that I got home I packed as much as I could with the materials I had I ended up putting most of my clothes in trash bags and then I brought them over to the house I also brought Riley with me because today I wasn't able to come home for lunch and I did not want her to be in the crate any longer for the day, especially because I didn't manage to walk her. So I brought her with me and you know, this moving process, I have really started to realize how having very few belongings is so great because the first day that I brought my stuff over, I do think I have been bringing like one third of my stuff across these past two days so I do still have more non-furniture stuff that is still here like my kitchenware but you know when I get there and I park right in front of the door I took like less than five minutes to bring everything in my car inside the house because it's just very few boxes and then after that I spent most of my time pretty much organizing so I hung up my clothes I spent time building the cat tree and I have to say that was annoying but I feel like I've built a good amount of furniture and stuff now that I'm pretty good at it like it didn't take me too long but this cat tree is actually taller than me it's 72 inches so towards the end where I had to put on some platforms at the very top that was a little interesting but um, luckily those pieces went on very easily so I'm actually really excited to see how the cats will react to this because it is huge and I feel like it's, it's going to be endless fun for them and I can't wait to see it. But yeah, aside from that, I put, I, I put like everything in cabinets, I put my shoes away, I put most everything in boxes that I would use regularly um, wherever I wanted them to be. So. There were two boxes that I brought from New Jersey that I left largely unpacked. And I guess most of that stuff is just like wires, old planners, um, a bunch of other side stuff. But when I saw the house again, I, it was, I don't know, it was such an interesting feeling where I felt like I had so much space, so much room. There were so much storage, so much cabinet space that I don't even need, but it's so nice having that option available to me. And I guess just seeing it again, I am so incredibly happy that I managed to find this house. 
I'm so happy to the landlord for holding it for me for 30 days. And I'm so happy that he was incredibly generous with his rent costs because I honestly think that house could probably go for more because it is a beautiful house on the inside. So once I get everything settled in tomorrow, I will definitely film a video of the interior so people can see because I am so stoked for this place and I think I just have to show what quality of life upgrade I am getting because it's a huge difference. So I'm so happy that moving is finally here and after tomorrow I will be settled in. I have the movers coming around 8 to 10 a.m. tomorrow, hopefully closer to 8 a.m. I want to get this stuff done as soon as possible. And then unfortunately I scheduled my internet move later than it should be. I scheduled it for 3 p.m. because I figured if I scheduled it closer towards 12, um, it would maybe be a clash with moving. So the good thing though is that he has his own internet set up already. I just chose to move my service over because I need a fast speed. You know, I play games, I download movies, I need that fast speed. I'm streaming also, so um, there is the Dota tournament tomorrow still going on, so I want to make sure I don't miss that, even though I'm moving. I think it's pretty silly that I am super focused on still managing to watch these Dota games, but I can manage just fine. And if my internet isn't set up just yet, I'll be able to use his to watch the games after all my furniture is put in, so that will be great. I just hope that stuff like putting up my TV on the TV stand, he has a wall mount. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. And I guess my other main concern is just making sure that I can disassemble my computer and my monitors comfortably without them being damaged or anything like that. That would be so tragic to me, but yeah, I have rambled enough about today, but today was a pretty interesting day to me and time to listen to more Eminem. <laughs>